Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, that's an airplane going by. Uh, maybe maybe I'm just upping the sound effects, but I'm pretty sure that's just an airplane. Well, anyway, we have a uh, we have one for the legends that's uh, coming coming your way this time around. The McRib from McDonald's. Now the McRib has been around for so long a time. I remember the first time I actually tried the McRib. It was back in, I believe, the, uh, I think it was October of 1968 when I was working nights at the movie theater. And I'd always go to McDonald's and get just a quarter pounder with cheese. I remember they had the McRib, and I'll never forget that night. It was just, it was just incredible. Uh, actually, I've never had the McRib before. I was just saying that to mess around. The McRib, though, what is it? You know, everyone talks about it. It's ever so elusive. Uh, believe it or not, it was actually very difficult for me to try to find a McRib to ever review because people have been talking about it for years and years and years and it's so hyped up. And then I always try and go out and find it. No one ever has it. None of the McDonald's in New York, New Jersey ever had it. None of the McDonald's in Virginia, North Carolina ever had it. But finally, here in Florida, we found one that did. The McRib. What precisely is it, and why is it so hyped up? Well, the McRib is a, uh, it's not even a seasonal release. It just kind of comes out whenever they feel like releasing it. And uh, it has the following ingredients. So it is composed of a rib-esque, you know, it's boneless. So it's like you're going to bite into it, and you're going to have these bones, and it's going to shatter all your teeth, and uh, now you're going to require thousands in dental uh, work that you can't afford. You know, none of that. It's, it's boneless, so don't worry about that. But it's going to have a pork patty that kind of looks like a rib, though. Uh, it's going to have tangy barbecue sauce that it's kind of, you know, slathered in. Onions and tart pickles, all kind of tied together on a hoagie-style bun. So it's like a pork sandwich with some barbecue sauce and some, you know, maybe that little bit of a tang with the, uh, the pickles and the onions, and uh, just all tied together. Really a fan favorite, so to speak. Now the price for this was uh, $3, and uh, hey, we'll just have to see how good this is. So here's the McRib bag with the McRib excrement on the bag. Uh, though people say that that's a good luck sign, so we're we're not going to bash that or anything, you know. Maybe that's good luck. Maybe that means it'll be good. I'm pretty sure this has got to be it. Let's see. For those of you who are like care way too much about this, uh, you might complain a little. Let me just uh, get the autofocus. So there we go. For those of you that care way too much about a McDonald's item, some people might complain. They might say, but review, bro. It's in the McNuggets box, and not the McRib package. Well, how's that going to change anything? But anyway, let's do the unboxing. So that's the hoagie style McRib bun. And uh, we'll see, maybe I'll get rid of the autofocus for now, just so that we can get a better look at it. There you go, in the afternoon sunlight, there's that hoagie-style bun. And let's just go ahead and take it out. We'll do a full examination. But there it is, there's the McRib patty. And yeah, you get a full view of it, you know, you can see the pork patty. You can see the bun, you can see the uh, onions, and those tangy pickles, and all the sauce there as well. And uh, for good measure, let's uh, debun it. That's what the top bun looks like. Not a ton of action going on there. Bottom bun, this is where it's at. Alright, let's see right there. Let's see if it does. There we go. A good focus of it. You can see it's got all those onions and pickles and the sauce. And, I mean, it looks like a pretty complete sandwich. It's not necessarily as big as they would say. Uh, that it looks like on the website, but that's kind of everything. You know, where it's like a little more smushed, perhaps. But as they say, you can't judge a book by its cover. I've never had the McRib before, so we'll see how it is. Uh, some people, you know, they love it. They say it tastes great. Some people are disgusted by it. Uh, I'm going to go in optimistically. I say, you know, maybe this will just be a good pork snack. 
as uh, some people say, and uh, maybe it won't. I don't know, I'm gonna try it out for you now. The McRib from McDonald's. First time ever trying it, going in. We'll take one more bite. Good amount of sauce in that one, too. Sauce action. Um. Well... What are my thoughts on it? You know, it's fascinating. And first, I'm just going to get this out of the way before I forget. Look, if you're interested, uh, check out my radio show. It's at soundcloud.com slash V-O-R-W underscore radio underscore I-N-T. Two hours, uh, one hour of music, one hour of talk. If you're listening on shortwave, I really need to hear from you. I'm thinking about cutting a lot of the broadcasts back. So uh, if you tune in on your radio, really just let me know how you listen and what frequency you tune in on. Uh, B-O-R-W-I-N-F-O at gmail.com. Public service announcement. Just, you know, had to get it out there. You know, what I, what I don't understand when it comes down to the McRib is how much divisiveness there is between the people that, like they say, it's the best thing that they've ever had. And then you have people that say, uh, oh, they say, have you ever read the book uh, The Jungle by Upton Sinclair from, uh, you know, 1904? And then they just say, you know, it's repulsive and disgusting and so on and so forth. My view of it kind of falls in the middle, I suppose. I'll be quite honest. It's not the best thing that I've ever had in the world, but it is far from the worst. You know, McDonald's, they don't really uh, center their chain or their items or anything around pork. So, I can't necessarily consider it a specialty of theirs. For instance, whenever I'm going for a pork-based item, I always go to a chain that's popular here in Florida called uh, Sonny's Barbecue. If you're in the area, you know, you know they do it good. But it's two different levels of things. When you're getting something from McDonald's, you have to just anticipate McDonald's quality, not any sort of professional smokehouse, steakhouse-esque item. So for what it's worth, they hit the nail on the head when it comes down to describing what it tastes like. It, it does have that tanginess to it. It's more tangy than it is sweet, I'll tell you that. I know you bite in, the pork is really tender. I gotta give them credit for that. The pork is really tender, could be a little more flavorful though. That's why there's so much emphasis on the sauce and the toppings. But the pork is really tender, you know, it, it tastes pretty good. Uh, it is covered in the sauce. Could be a little messy to eat, but that sauce just has that, just, as I said, that tangy barbecue, just as they described it. Uh, the onions and the pickles just contribute to that tanginess. So as a result, it's not like it really has a smokiness to it, or a sweetness. Rather, it has just this tenderness and tanginess to it as well. And sometimes I think, as I was eating this, maybe there's just a little bit too much of that tang, I would maybe tone it down a tiny bit, if it were up to me. But overall, I think that it's a pretty good sandwich, uh, for the most part. Again, you just have to remember, it's fast food quality. You're gonna have people out there that love it, you're gonna have people out there that hate it, 
And then I guess, I guess my stance on it is I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, would I get it again? Well, maybe. If I'm really feeling it, then I might. But it's not like I'm gonna say, all right, McRib, breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm gonna stop drinking water. I'm gonna go out and I'm just gonna squeeze any excess tangy barbecue sauce and just guzzle that down to get the necessary nutrients in place of what, you know. I'm not that crazy about it. Uh, but in the end, when it comes down to it, out of 10, price for this was $3. I think it is what they described it to be. I would just kind of tone down the tanginess slightly, but I think it's perfectly acceptable for what it is. Um, so therefore, out of 10, I'm going to be giving it a 7.92 out of 10. A 7.92 out of 10 is my rating. Again, I think it is perfectly acceptable. Might not be the best thing I've ever eaten, but it's far from the worst. Uh, and would I get it again? Yeah, if I'm feeling it, I would. So that's my review. That's all that I have for you. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and also, if you do want to help support this channel, keep everything going, uh, check out my merchandise store, teespring.com slash stores slash the Report of the Week. I got a few new mugs out, some designs. A lot of people, they always ask about it, and I say, well, I've had the store for about a, a year and a half. Really recommend you check it out if you can, though. And, uh, you know, hey, you see something you like, go for it, and it's a way to really help this channel and the radio show out, too. So thank you for uh, tuning in. Thank you for watching. Hope you could check out the radio show on SoundCloud, and with that, that's all that I have for you. Hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, with that, I think I'm going to finish up the McRib. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you again in a couple days.